Now remember, take it to heart and understand that remember in the scripture means take action. Everything you have done was already seen in heaven because you did it. And I exist outside of time. I've already seen you do it. Take heart and take courage as I refocus your lens through the lens of gratitude that I already know how your finances are going to be secured. I already know how your living situation is going to be secured. I already know how your love will be restored in your marriage, your kingdom marriage. I already know everything. 2,000 years ago, I knew that I'd be in this specific place. Mary, if it helps you, look at all my videos. You'll see it decorated the same exact way. And what you need to understand, <clears throat> why you're here. Babe. So what I first noticed in Mary before she was even born, she had no real fear of God. And many that don't really know me don't have a healthy, true fear. Or that if I speak something, it happens because I've already seen it happen. So there is a plan, first of all. <clears throat> and what we were led to in scripture is one of my prophets, and the scripture says, what Moses asked, teach us your ways. That was done in the gospel. And I also said in the gospel, at the last day, these very words will convict you. And you, O Rock, have established them to correct and chastise. And this is one of my prophets talking directly to me. So, there will be rumors of war, earthquakes in various places, but the end is not yet. It is the end. <clears throat> what we just confirmed as scripture is you are here so that your spirit learns. And it says the church much harsher. And that is what scripture says as well. There are specific guidelines to ministry. There are specific guidelines already laid out. So my prophet's doing the work and there is no shortcut to your spirit learning. Mary, you are here as Peter told you once to become as much of the Holy Spirit as possible. That is everyone's goal. To understand that when you are walking with Jesus, your decision-making gets surrendered. And I teach my people pretty much the same way. They used to have this expression this one is strong in the lord do not 
become strong in the Lord by being outside of the Holy Spirit. Mary, move these <clears throat> over here. <clears throat> the gift you receive when you surrender your will <clears throat> is the excitement that will happen in your marriage as well. You don't know what's going to happen. If you had your own decision making and everything turned out perfectly, based on your decision-making. Not only would it not turn out perfect because you would completely leave God's ideas out of things so that you could never experience a difference. So you were also here to experience the difference. And then that understanding remains intact in your spirit. If I called Peter Satan, <clears throat> then we first see that words were spoken contrary to the words that should have been spoken. So even my best at times did not know if they had a demon. So your main issue has been one, you dated a demon, two, you became very success, susceptible, not successful. Whereas I have always tried to make your path straight so that your spirit learns. The more your spirit learns, the more you gravitate towards the light, the healthy spirit. And many not understanding warfare at all. If you are near someone with a demon, and you are not strong in the Lord, and you are not in the spirit, meaning you are still making your own decisions contrary to the covenant, you will be infected by that demon. And the more and more time you spend, demons associate and will normally be uh, not as harmonious with each other unless there is one of mine around and then they will all turn on that one. So your situation <clears throat> based on basic ignorance and lack of experience has caught up to you. I'll try and make this funny. When me and Mary have conversations, <clears throat> it's always a delight, but it is rarely biblical. My wife was coerced into believing that she was a member of the Galactic Federation of Light. So much so she had a sticker on her door. So much so she built a throne for Satan desecrated the Ark of the Covenant. Her little miniature one she wasn't supposed to have. She <clears throat> has in her spirit a retained understanding of the devil more than her understanding of Jesus, which is pretty much clear. <clears throat> But she's not the only one. <clears throat> and what I learned a long time ago, <clears throat> 
heaven. Everyone has their own different ideas regarding heaven, good, evil, because they're mostly nowhere near God anymore. When you take your first step away from your established destiny, You are going to be easily influenced by your own thoughts because you're not renewing your thoughts to become like mine. <clears throat> and you're not perfect. 